Okay, I hope this lighting is gonna be bright enough because I just tried to film on my actual camera and it's being such a pain in the ass. Like, I'm about ready to just buy a new camera because anytime I try to actually film a video, it just, like, I'll film a little bit and then all of a sudden the shutter will just close and, like, my screen goes black. It's so freaking obnoxious and I can't stand it but I don't know what to do about it so anyways here I am I set my ring light up I wanted to do an empties video today I've never done an empties video ever I do enjoy watching them I think it's fun to like see what people have tried and actually used up and if they would repurchase it so this winter sometime I was like you know what? I'm gonna do an empties video and I <laughs> Let me show you the little bag that I got. So I apparently went to Sephora at some point and they gave me like a little bag and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just use this as my empties trash and I just kind of tucked it behind my bathroom trash can. And at first I was like, oh my God, it's gonna take me so long to actually like get enough empties where I can make a video. And then the other day I like looked back there and things like things were overflowing. Um, this bag is obviously full and then I have about five items that are not didn't even make the bag so I am gonna start with those and yeah I'll tell you what I think about these products I haven't seen what's in the bottom of the bag in several months so it's gonna be a surprise to me what's in there um, and I don't know if I've repurchased things or not so we'll see we'll get to that Okay, first thing that I will repurchase, I have repurchased several times, is the Lush Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I love this. It smells wonderful. And it's a very harsh exfoliator. If you have sensitive skin, I would not recommend it. Maybe just for your body, but still, it's pretty harsh. Um, but yeah, it's a really awesome scrub. I also use it on my face because I just have the type of skin that I could like pour acid on my skin and it like wouldn't react. So um, the super harsh if I exfoliate my face with it like doesn't even phase my skin. But yeah this is an awesome um, exfoliating scrub. It's like what I always go to when I want an exfoliator and yes I will definitely be repurchasing this. I actually need to go to Lush soon. There, It's not too far from my apartment. Next thing is the Batiste dry shampoo and this is in the scent Neon Lights. Oh my god, this smells so freaking good. I love it and it says new limited edition but I have seen it in stores and I need to stock up because it just smells so damn good. Um, the scent is pomegranate and jasmine and I think I said it's called neon lights I don't know it's I love Batiste dry shampoos you like the price point just like can't be beat they're so good I have repurchased I repurchased a dry shampoo this one isn't empty this is just hanging out um, in my apartment but this is the tropical one that I got at Ulta I really really like this too it smells good it's like nice and summery Next thing, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white shampoo or white dry shampoo. I want to say this is like 20 some dollars. I was at Sephora last winter, saw this and I was like, I'm going to try that. You know, like I knew it was kind of a little bit more expensive than I, you know, like I like cheaper dry shampoos because I seriously like go through them like crazy. Um, so I got this, it smells nice, but I probably won't be repurchasing it unless I'm like, oh, I wanna splurge on something because I just like stick to my Batiste dry shampoos because they're amazing. But if you wanna splurge and you, you like the Elizabeth and James fragrances, then yeah, I would recommend this. You would like it. Next thing is the Vita Bath body wash. I get this at Ulta, it's seriously my favorite favorite body wash. I have not used anything from the drugstore in probably like two years now. I just, there's so many different um, scents for this and this is one of my favorites. This is Asian Orchid and Coconut, but I've already repurchased a bottle. Um, I forget what scent I got, but yeah, it's really, really good. Usually they have a um, sale on this. It's like buy one, get one 50% off. They also, last time I purchased or I repurchased this, I noticed that they have cute little travel size body washes. So that's something 
that I'm gonna pick up probably next time too. All right, so this is the Kai by Gay Straza conditioner. And this is sold at, I got this for my hairstylist because she really likes the Kai scents. The Kai scent is very florally, um, if you've ever smelled it. I know they sell it at Barney's. I'm not sure if they sell it at Nordstrom. I, I wanna just say it's like they sell it at Barney's. I don't know. So I, she was shampooing my hair, um, I think probably, I think it was last fall. And I was like, oh my God, what are you using on my hair? Like it smells so good. And she's like, oh, I'm using Kai. And I forgot, does it have the price? Okay, this was 30, this was $34. So shampoo and conditioner was like $68 that I paid for. And these are only 10 ounce bottles. Not terrible, but still a little pricey. And you know, I don't know who Gay Straza is, but those like celebrity shampoos and conditioners, I'm like often skeptical of. And I don't know, I was like, just loved the scent. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. And so I bought this set because I knew if I didn't like it, I could just like take it back to Sarah and like, she wouldn't care. Um, but anyways, I ended up loving it. It's a super, um, like luxur luxurious feeling shampoo and conditioner. I feel like it really, really hydrates my hair and I will probably repurchase it. I still, this is the conditioner. I still have some of the shampoo left, but if I purchase one or the other, like if I just purchase one, I'll probably purchase the conditioner because I love the scent of it and how it leaves, like how it just kind of lingers in my hair. It's kind of, um, yeah, it's definitely florally. Next thing, the Pravana Perfect Blonde Toning Shampoo. Obviously, this is a must for blondes. You need a good purple shampoo. I used to really, really like this until I found a new alternative that is keeping my hair seriously, like, super, super ashy. So I'm not in love with this anymore. I'm not going to repurchase it. This does have good results. Like, it does make your hair pretty um, ashy and takes the warm tones out of it if you're a blonde but the formula is weird. Like it's very, it's almost like kind of jelly. So it's also sulfate free, but like it just does not lather in your hair. And I feel like I'm using so much to try to like coat my ends and everything that, yeah, ever since I found the newest shampoo, purple shampoo that I'm using, I'm not using this. Um, and I won't repurchase it as long as I can get the other. So yeah. Not in love with this anymore. Next thing, oh yes, I totally forgot about this. I need to buy this again. This is the Blue Moon Sun, um, by Sunday Riley. It's the cleansing balm. Seriously, love this. I talked about it in, I think, my skincare video. It's all gone and I will be repurchasing this. It is $50, which is pretty expensive, but it lasted me a really long time and I felt like it just got my skin so clean without feeling like my skin was stripped or anything like that so and I really like the balm formula and it's like this minty light blue so I don't know it just like makes me happy when I open a bottle it's pretty what's next the San Moritz instant self tanning can this is the spray in the color medium this is I like this self tanner I tend to you know like I'm not loyal to one self tanner because I feel like sometimes I just kind of like get used like quote unquote used to my skin and then they don't stick as well. I had that issue with the sand sand tropez for the longest time. Um, this is a really good price point at Ulta. I want to say this is like 13 bucks and yeah, it's just, it's really nice. I put it on with a tanning mitt. I buy the Ulta tanning mitt. I've repurchased this so many times. I often switch between like the mist and the liquid. So it just kind of, when I walk in there, I'm like, okay, well, which one am I gonna buy? And then I usually pick one up. So yeah, they usually have pretty good deals on these two. Okay, so this next product was actually sent to me. This company reached out to me and I looked at their products in the reviews and I was like, yeah, you know, I would really like to try that. So, um, it's actually in my empties now because I used up all the eye masks, but the company is called V2 and they are these oxygen eye masks for night. And the thing with these, like 
typical eye like under eye masks um, or like the jelly pads you only put on for like you know like 30 minutes these ones you actually leave on all night I think five comes in the box um, yeah so you leave them on for eight hours which I slept with them on so this is just what they come in just a just cute little package I will say that these iPads like seriously stay on like I've used the Sephora ones before and a couple other brands and I feel like they always just like slide down on your face but these actually stay underneath your eyes and they're super um, moisturizing like when I wake up I feel like my under eye area is like super super moisturized and I tended to use them when I you know I obviously work 7 p.m. to 7 30 in the morning and like hospital air is just so fucking dry that I feel like my skin and everything is just so parched when I get home from the hospital so obviously when I sleep during the day I would take these um, iPads and I would put them underneath my eye and during the day I sleep with a sleep mask on so I would put my sleep mask on over it and then I'd wake up and like my skin would feel super hydrated so yeah these are um, sold on Amazon so I will link them below they are $55 which is kind of expensive but if you want to splurge go ahead and do it so pretty nice thing it relates to body odor I use secret deodorant for seriously years for as long as I can remember and then a couple of months ago I just felt like I was like like my armpits smelled all the time I know it's like TMI but I just felt like kind of stinky and this um, old live journal um, girls group that I'm in on Facebook somebody posted about deodorant and they're like oh your body can actually get like too used to the deodorant that you try because somebody else had the same freaking issue as I did so they were like you should totally like switch your deodorant up and so one of the girls recommended degree and that's what I picked up and I have not had any issues since so if you're having issues where you think you like are a little bit stinky and that your deodorant is like immune to your body apparently it can happen so these are what I picked up and these are the degree sexy intrigue um, I picked up this spray and then I picked up the solid I actually prefer the solid I am NOT in love with spray deodorants um, this one was fine though I just feel like pit spray I don't know I just don't feel like it coats my underarm area as well as a salad like a salad you can just like cake on so I won't be repurchasing the spray but I will repurchase and I already have repurchased this um, I really really like it and I'm sure it's not good for you I'm sure it has aluminum in it but don't come for me in the comments the next thing is the Caudalie hydrating lotion tonic whatever it's like a moisturizing toner I was not in love with this um, people rave about it I just I don't know I didn't really love it so not gonna repurchase another thing Kerastase powder bluff this is like $45 dry shampoo smells amazing not worth that money but if you want to splurge get it I probably won't repurchase it again but the bottles really pretty and it smells nice and that's about it it does work well I will say that um, the next thing, steal up. Aqua Glow Foundation. Not in love with it. Um, I felt like it just really like sat on my skin and just didn't blend, so I didn't like it. I'm like whipping through these. These are the ones in the bottom. The L'Oreal Youth Code Skin Recharger. Um, this is a nice drugstore moisturizer, but I don't know. I probably won't repurchase it. It is a day and night cream. And it felt good under the skin but yeah I don't know I like my it cosmetics so yeah those are all my empties I cannot wait to throw this trash away now like it was getting so full that I was like I really need to make this video like ASAP so yeah that's it tell me if you like any of these items if you do empties videos let me know so I can watch them and I will see you guys in my next video bye